my sisters and brothers, I'm so proud of you. If you remember one thing, let it be this from your seminary education. Preach the word in the power of the spirit for the glory of God. Congratulations. For many of you, this is gonna be the last time that you meet me here in the classroom. Let me take this opportunity to say, congrats on successfully completing your degree. We are so proud of you and we so wish that we could celebrate you in person today. But the unusualness of this circumstance just reminds us all how desperate the world is to hear a message of hope. And it is into that world that you launch today. Although we can't greet you, although we can't congratulate you, or although we can't hug you um, or shake your hands in person, know that our prayers go with you. Please be encouraged because a graduation ceremony doesn't make you a graduate. You still definitely are. As you leave Southwestern and go forth into whatever ministry God has for you, know that you still have plenty here at Southwestern who love you and are praying for you and are encouraged by the work that you have done and the work that you are going to do. To our Scarborough line and Southwestern women especially, I am so proud of you for finishing this season of preparation and training. Your tenacity to remain resolute in your calling during uncertain times cannot be overstated. I'm sorry we can't see you personally, but I want to join the rest of the faculty in congratulating you and expressing our confidence in how the Lord's going to use you in the future. Let me remind you of a couple of verses and uh, lead you in prayer. Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me in a straight path. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Father, thank you for moments like this, spiritual markers, milestone moments that mark significant points in life's journey. Lord, these are strange days, and it's unfortunate that we're not able to celebrate their achievements together. But Lord, we know that you are faithful and true. You are taking them into a lost and dying world that desperately needs you, and may they be the ministers of your gospel and the unique ministries that you've given each one of them just pray along with many others that we would send these out to raise the eyes of your people to King Jesus, seated on the throne of heaven, King of kings and Lord of lords. Pray that they would go forth in the strength of your word, clothed with your spirit. Lord, may they be the aroma of Christ. That they would be marked as someone different and unique. And I pray that you would uh, bless them richly in their service to you. Through your spirit, Heavenly Father, give these your servants grace and power to proclaim the gospel of your salvation. Pray that you put a fire in their hearts for serving you, and even in the midst of persecution, Lord. Using you as an agent to extend the kingdom, to strengthen the church. I pray that their witness for you will be strong. Grant them your power, guidance, protection, and wisdom. But most of all, Help them to keep their eyes on Jesus as they run. And they would remain right in the middle of your will as they keep their focus upon you. Help them to have the vision for your ministry that you're doing. And may many come to a saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ because of their witness for you. Lord, I pray that you would send them as our seminary sends them so that they may accomplish all your good will and see many people brought into the kingdom of Christ. Use them for your greater glory. All this we pray in the name of Jesus, our King and our Lord and our Savior, amen. Congratulations.